Good morning and welcome to Football Spy with me, Rob Burnett. Darren Lewis is out on the beat today sniffing out the next big scoop for Mirror Football, so today I'll be bringing you the latest movers and shakers in the transfer market. Now, we told you yesterday about Manchester City's pursuit of Real Madrid midfielder Fernando Gago. He's struggling for first team football at the Bernabeu and Roberto Mancini is keen to add to his squad. Now we're hearing this morning that Real have turned down a £12 million bid from City. It's thought they're holding out for more like £17 million for the midfielder. Real are playing hardball there, but then they know City can afford it. City fans, get the lowdown on Gago plus clips of him in action at mirrorfootball.co.uk forward slash Manchester dash City. Another wanted man is AC Milan forward Klaus Jan Huntelaar, who is desperate for some first team football in the run up to the World Cup. The Dutchman is apparently attracting attention from Arsenal, although given Arsene Wenger's reticence in the transfer market, I can't see that one happening, especially as we're told Nicholas Bentner is nearing full fitness. Everton boss David Moyes is always on the lookout for a bargain though, and a loan move for Huntelaar would make sense but for both parties. The Toffees chief has already admitted his interest in the former Real Madrid striker, and given Everton's injury list, he would certainly get plenty of first team action at Goodison. Elsewhere, we hear that Blackburn boss Sam Allardyce is trying to link up once again with Monaco forward Ida Johnson. The former Barcelona man played under Big Sam at Bolton before moving on to Chelsea, and the Rovers chief is keen to tie up a deal for the Icelandic star before West Ham, who are also keen on him. We'll keep you posted on that one. News just coming into us this morning from David Anderson, our man in the northwest, is that Blackburn are looking to recoup the £2.5 million they paid for Benny McCarthy. According to David, the former Porto star has gone AWOL, missing training for the past two days as he tries to engineer a move away from Ewood Park. West Ham are keen on him, but David says they have so far only offered £1.5 million for him, a million pounds short of the asking mark. David also tells us that Liverpool goalkeeper Pepe Reina is about to sign a new five-year deal to remain at Anfield. So some much needed good news there for Liverpool fans. And don't forget to check mirrorfootball.co.uk throughout the day where we'll be bringing you the very latest news from David and the rest of our guys all over the country as we get it. Right, on to this morning's papers. Our own Daily Mirror leads with the story that Italian giants Juventus have targeted Liverpool boss Rafa Benitez as the man they want to take over from current manager Ciro Ferreira. An intriguing prospect for the Spaniards, and would his style of management perhaps be more suited to Italian football? Should he jump before he gets pushed at the end of the season? We'll be keeping an eye on that one and keeping you up to date with any developments. The Sun's back page carries a story every Manchester United fan wants to read. No, the Glazers have not sold the club, but Wayne Rooney has pledged his future to United and promised not to be lured away to Spain, with Barcelona and Real Madrid both thought to be keen on the England forward. Across Manchester and the back pages of the Daily Mail and the Daily Express have gone with the continuing saga of Rubinho's sorry exit from City. The sulking Brazilian looks certain to leave Eastland and go on loan to his old club Santos but the mail reckons he will have to forfeit a staggering £80,000 a week in wages to secure a loan deal back to Brazil, while the Express claim that City will have to make up the shortfall in his salary. Two other quick ones for you now. The independent claim Manchester United have joined Arsenal in pursuing Fulham defender Chris Smalling, rated at £7 million by his club. It really would be a remarkable rise for the centre-half, who just 18 months ago was playing non-league football with Maidstone United until Roy Hodgson plucked him from obscurity. To find out more about him, there's an excellent profile of the 20-year-old at mirrorfootball.co.uk forward slash Fulham. Another defender who looks certain to move in this window is Portsmouth's Eunice Kabul. With Pompey desperate for cash, the Daily Star is reporting that Sunderland have made a £10 million bid to take him to Wearside. Steve Bruce is also desperate, but this time he wants to shore up his defence after just one win in ten. But Kabul has already turned down Sunderland once when he first moved to Pompey, so why would he go there now, especially with interest from his old club, Tottenham? Time to hear some of your views now, and Abdi Star 10 says, I think it will be Sergio Aguero to Chelsea. Well, I can't really see this one happening in this window, I'm afraid. Carlo Ancelotti has already said he won't be signing anyone this January, and Chelsea seem to be coping well enough with Didier Drogba away at the African Nations Cup. So, I don't really think that one's a goer. The Joe Show UK <clears throat> wants to know if Birmingham City are finally going to sign a big name striker this month. 
Well, they've been linked with Milan Jovanovic, Kenwin Jones, Ryan Barbel and Kevin Kirani already this month. But our own man in the know in the Midlands, James Nursey, is reporting this morning that Alex McLeish is set to make a £10 million bid for Tottenham outcast Roman Pavlichenko. Sadly for Birmingham fans though, I think he's more interested in returning to Russia with either his old club Spartak Moscow or even city rivals Dinamo Moscow. Finally, the Sweezy asks, is it true that Man City are going to sign new Pele Neymar de Silva? Well, there certainly is something in this one, uh, but it all depends on whether Rubinho can negotiate a loan move back to Neymar's current club, Santos. If the deal can be done between Santos and uh, Man City, the young Brazilian, who, as you rightly say, has already been dubbed the new Pele, might find himself on his way to Eastlands. Watch this space and we'll bring you the news first when it happens. In the meantime, check out what the young forward is capable of with a scouting report and clips of him in action at mirrorfootball.co.uk forward slash Manchester City. Well, that's it for today, folks. Football Spy will be back tomorrow with Darren. But until then, you can log on to mirrorfootball.co.uk for all the very latest breaking news.